So Jessica's a genius in her craft and in her Torah, and I tell her that about once a week. We have a very heartfelt and participatory um, prayer style at the kitchen, so we needed someone who would want to be a part of that and who would want to elevate that and use the language of music and Torah to help elevate that and bring us higher and higher. And that's exactly what Jessica's done. We have a group of seven on our davening team, all with like very different backgrounds musically and liturgically. Whenever we gather, it's a process of, of learning, of listening, and of prayer, and like growing into prayer together, and exploring not just what prayer leadership is, but what is our own prayer practice, and, and in terms of prayer leadership, what our responsibility is as we take our seats in that space. To be in a service with Rabbi Jessica, she takes a deep breath, sort of fills her body with, um, with spirit and with music. So you can almost feel it going in from her feet all the way up to the very top of her head and out her mouth. Jessica has to be experienced. So our davening circle, the prayer leaders, do not stand typically. And Jessica has rebelled against that in a way that I think is really fun and um, stands in moments where she's drawn to stand, I think. And she moves her body and she moves her arms and then there, some other member of the davening circle will stand up and start moving her arms. And then someone in the back row will stand up and start moving. And it's... Um, it grabs you, and it, you you want you want to be a part of it. And, and I'm actually sad when a prayer is over. If there was love, give me some. My leadership style is like kind of bringing people in, getting them getting the music going, uh, drawing in different leaders uh, across the board. You know, musicians, singers, folks who don't sing or don't play music but who you know who have a deep sense of prayer and and can speak to the to the words of the text and and uh, collaborating all together when you sing with other people your breathing is in sync your heartbeats tend to start beating in rhythm together um, it's a way of bringing community together so the Pittsburgh attack happened, and a couple of months later, we drew the community together on uh, the stage of the local uh, performing arts center and drew across the churches with multiple clergy and the wider community. And uh, we had this uh, Kululam style singing event where each group was learning a different part, and it was all about you know how we create light and love across our differences and um, and just drawing together with music uh, at this really poignant and difficult time. It, it was very, it was transformative for me uh, as a leader, also for others. Just, you know, who are these people showing up, you know, like after this hor horrific event in our community? People showing up for us. Music has that power. Music has that that intention to kind of bring people in and we see it across cultures and 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 we are we are no different like we you know as as Jews we get to we get to celebrate through music the prayer life at Hebrew College opened my eyes to what is possible I have an image in my mind that I come back to regularly of Rabbi Alan Lehman uh, singing during Hallel, Ze Hayom Asadonai. This is the day that God created that we should uh, rejoice in it. And him just showing his exuberance and, you know, at times tears running down. And the, the community also, like it, it's not, it, it, you're davening, you're praying. Uh, you're experiencing with people who are you are deeply connected with and so that was a model for you know coming and being a rabbi of a community and making you know making music and building community together uh, and praying together I think something I learned from my teacher Eben, Rabbi Eben Leader is that 
so much of davening is listening and listening listening to god listening for god um listening to your fellow daveners and listening to your own voice as it's entering this stream of prayer and when i saw rabbi nechemia Polin lead for the first time what really struck me is he was kind of saying shh listen and he was like come here <laughs> like he really he has this way of bringing everybody in closer like leaning in and listening and he's not his, he's his voice he's not loud he's not um He's like, he has a secret that he's sharing and that all of us can share together. And it's, that was a big um, learning for me. She literally transformed us and allowed us to see who we could be. When we sing together, we have a sense of purpose with each other, shared purpose. And a community that's as diverse as ours, shared purpose um, is really important. I think in a word, David, uh, fosters community. Survivors landed from a far off place. 